Dear Muji, I am just a 19-year-old kid who spends too much time on his computer. <laughs> I am turning to you because I have gone far beyond my parents, my friends, my workmates. It causes no suffering. It just daunts me. No one will listen to me when I try to tell, to talk them out of their suffering. They have a who are you attitude, which is understandable, so I mostly don't even try. So where am I stuck? Kind regards, Carl. Carl, mm, I am very uh, impressed by your letter, you know. You don't seem to have any arrogance. You're not trying to be older than you are, wiser than you are. You're not trying to, you're tra trying. But you must have seen something because you say, 19 year old kid, I spend too much time on in my computer. I'm turning to you because I, I have gone far beyond my parents, my friends, my workmates. I would like to know beyond in what way are you speaking? You've gone beyond them in what way are you speaking? You're beyond them. And it causes no suffering to be beyond everything. It just daunts me that no one will listen to me when I try to talk uh, to talk them out of their suffering. So if your approach to them is correct, if you're not approaching in an arrogant way, if you're not trying to show off or demonstrate um, a higher superior knowledge or something, if you're genuinely out of love and compassion, you really do see the, the cause of suffering and uh, your heart is pure and you're trying to guide people out of suffering. Is it like that? And you say they have a, a who are you attitude, which you say it's understandable. So uh, I mostly, I don't even try, you see. Then, then don't try. If you offer, you can only offer, you cannot make anything happen. You can offer a guidance mm. or some insight in a gentle way and uh, not in an arrogant way but you cannot make people take your advice you see even if you found a, a diamond somewhere and you tell people i found a diamond please come i show you maybe they don't believe you they say you're too young to find a diamond <laughs> and uh, some very young people throughout history have discovered this diamond of the truth of who they are and they tried also to tell older people who are more foolish people sometimes come with me I found this thing and they say no you're too young who are you to talk to us even Jesus was like that one time he was very young boy uh, maybe 10 or 12 he was in the temple and he was talking with the wise men uh, in the temple and some people saying "Whoa, oh, look at him the little boy talking you know he's very cute and cute, very cute mean that uh, it's just a game don't take it seriously but there have been many sages uh, throughout uh, time who were children, actually, and they understood the great truth. I don't know if you are one of them. You're not such a child anyway, but um, you may have found this thing. I wonder if it, if it is what I'm talking about. So don't try too much to convince anybody of anything, even of truth. Don't try to convince. You be that truth. You be... Um, be one with your own truth and speak only with those who show a real sincere interest don't try and bring it to the world you cannot do anything for the world you cannot teach anyone anything unless they want to learn something from you this is the first thing to know so maybe this is part of your own um, maturing to see that you cannot help people even if you know the right answer you see like sometimes you're at school and teacher asks question you know and then you know the answer. You put your hand up, but the teacher doesn't ask you. He asks everybody else, won't ask you. And then you feel very frustrated. You know, why don't ask me? I know the answer. But part of this education is that even if you know the answer, don't try and show off the answer. Even if you know what makes peace, you know that if the people are not hungry, if they're not open, then they won't come to you. And you will have to be calm about this. Don't be resentful. Stay at peace with yourself and don't wait for them to catch up. Like this, you can be a Buddha with no disciple. <laughs> okay, so 
lovely letter and very happy to meet you through this through your words, Carlo.